I'm going to first look at the the tool of the class tracking and location tracking. I'm going to hit the drop down up top to do so. And we're going to go on over to the account and settings on the left, advanced tab on down below. And then I'm going to go into the categories here. So notice you've got classes and you've got locations. Now there's a little bit of a difference between the classes and locations, although they're quite similar. The classes give you a little bit more uh, versatility, meaning I can, I can record like one, uh, one transaction with multiple different classes, like one expense form and assign two different classes to two different line items in the expense form. Whereas the locations I believe are gonna be applied to one transaction at a time. So if you start getting into a layered type of situation where you're going to use both of these, you want to think about the hierarchy of when you're going to use locations and classes. But if you're just using one or the other, I, I would tend to use the class tracking because it's more versatile. And then it says here, warn me when a transaction isn't assigned a class. So once we assign classes, we have the option of, of assigning every transaction a class, which is usually a good thing to do because because now you're going to run an income statement by class and you want everything to be assigned. Or you could say that anything that is not assigned has its own class, but we'll talk more about that in a second. Assign classes, um, assign classes one to each row in a transaction. Uh, one to one. So enter one, enter transaction. So I want one in each row. That's giving me that more versatility that I was talking about here. You've got the location. You don't have that second uh, kind of option. So I'm going to turn this one off and then I'm going to say save it. Let's say done and say, do you want to save? I'm going to say save it. And just to see what happens now, if I go to the plus button up top and I go to say an expense form, then I should have another column in here for uh, the classes that we'll be putting into play. You know, I didn't save it last. Here it is. There's the classes. So classes are now on. And we have this other option that we can put into play. All right, now given that, 